Hey, good morning, everybody. So, uh, back for another shave. I uh, just wanted to give a quick shout out to my West Coast shaving video. Um, I did it on Vespers, which is the new release from Barrister and Man in their new base Excelsior. So, if you haven't checked that one out, um, please do. Uh, I've decided I don't really feel like doing my West Coast shaving um, reviews on my channel because then um, they'd be kind of redundant, you know, and I don't just want to upload a video to upload a video. So, uh, yeah, if you want to go catch that review, that'd be really cool. I did use my new razor that I'm going to be using today, so that was its YouTube debut, but this is going to be its channel debut. But a uh, brush for today. I don't know if I've shown this on the channel. I think I have, but in case I haven't, this is my deranged donkey turned by Milton uh, B6. So yeah, Declaration B6 in it. Um, I used it a few times and I sent it out to, to Sean and Ru um, Ross to try and uh, came back to me. They helped me break it in a little bit. Tips are gelling, looking very good. So really excited to have my brush back. Uh, I've been missing that thing. Uh, so making its channel debut is going to be my Max Brecker. So this is an 8 8 plus, just slightly over 8 8. Uh, Spanish Point. This is a near wedge. And it's got Mother of Pearl scales with gold lip pearl inlay and the metal is a uh, suminagashi so suminagashi is a layered steel similar to damascus steel so uh it's folded layers of two different kinds of metals and uh, that's how you get these designs so the um the maker will etch the metal and then put it into a uh, acidic dip and when it comes out the acid melts away at one of the metals revealing the other one more so uh, this razor is just beautiful it shaves excellent and yeah just really loving it and then soap for today so uh, Ross was the last person to use my B6 and he sent me this to try out so massive shout out to my buddy Ross uh, he's another daily shaver for West Coast shaving and uh, he also does have his own channel Ross McBee so please go check him out but uh, so for today it's going to be Talbot shaving Iliaki Ridge uh, I'm 99% sure this stuff is basically end of tanium um, most Talbots are they really come out in very small batches and once they're released since they're done so yeah i don't know a lot of people who are willing to get rid of talbot um i got mine very lucky but uh yeah i'm pretty sure this scent would be nowhere to be found so oh, so iliahi ridge it is uh this is very fitting <laughs> this is a hawaiian sandalwood and um it's definitely a little bit more of like a drier sandalwood to me i almost get like a a nutty scent from this sandalwood so very nice and uh, Talbot I mean performance on Talbot is excellent so I'm expecting a great shave so I'm gonna start getting loaded right here but uh, I want to give another shout out to a straight razor channel that uh, I just recently found and that's going to be Castle Shaves. Um, the guy, Mondo, he's a, he started straight razor shaving around the same time I did. He said October 2017. I actually started straight razor shaving. Um, I have the exact day because I messaged someone who uh, honed a razor for me on that day. That's the load I'm going to go with. But um, my exact date is... December 17th, 2017 for one year with straight razor. So that's coming up pretty cool.
So pretty excited for that. So I have been trying to get into honing a little bit more. Um, I'm definitely not proficient. Definitely still need to learn my stone a bit more. Um, I just recently picked up a, a Norton 4K 8K combo. So I upgraded my 3K 8K that I read online was absolute garbage. So happy to have done that. And then I still have the Naniwa 12K. And then I also picked up a JNAT, uh, specifically a Shogudani. So really excited for that. I just rinsed off the soap right there. And then I do have a 1K stone coming in so that I can mess with the bevels on my razors. This actually looks like I left enough water in the brush. I don't think I'll have to do too much more to it. Yeah, but this B6 is definitely different from when I sent it off. releasing lather a lot better. A lot of the scritch, well, didn't have much scritch, but all the scritch it had is gone. So just a nice scrubby feeling and just gelled tips. So probably just took a few uses for this not to open up, but man, is this a nice lather. So I think I'm gonna call that good right here. Peaky. <laughs> and clean off. Make sure the hands are dry, and then I'll get going with the razor. Just make sure the sideburns are. Huh. Probably clean these off too. But uh, yeah, so the razor's good to go, and there we go. Oh yeah, this edge is just phenomenal. As I've come to expect from Max, but this one's a little bit different. Um, so the core in the razor, so that's another big difference between Damascus and Suminagashi, is Suminagashi has a high carbon core. So with Damascus, the edge, you're getting a combination of nickel and carbon, which is why it's not great for straight razors. Um, so for anybody purchasing a new straight razor, be aware of that. Um, don't buy anything that's pure Damascus. Um, nickel 
is not great at taking a fine edge. So Damascus is normally favored for knives. Um, you can use Damascus, however, if it has a high carbon core, which I have seen. But make sure you watch out for that. But uh, yeah, the core on this is the Hitachi Company's white paper core, I believe Max told me it's called. And, um, and uh, I was reading his description online and, and he said that uh, this steel is very similar in carbon content to that of um, like Tamahagane uh, Samurai Sword steel. So it's very good, this edge is just so smooth and just real sharp so this is gonna be a two pass shave because any more than that and all I'm cutting is skin <laughs> But yeah, when I first got this razor, um, I had a, a few weepers. Um, not only because I wasn't used to like a fresh edge from Max, but it, it didn't really feel um, like it was gonna, like it was gonna cut me. Max's fresh edges um, on the rest of the razors are getting kind of, up there but on the rest of his razors are definitely smooth don't get me wrong but they have just enough of that edgy feeling to remind you to be careful with the sumi there's none of that it just feels like almost nothing to be honest so Got a few weepers, um, packed off a few bumps, <laughs> and uh, it was a great shave though. Still got a very nice, comfortable shave, but just reminded myself that I have to be careful with it. <laughs> falling in my face against the grain right here. And as you can see, pretty much no buffing is required. The most I'll go over a spot with this razor is twice. Aside from that, man, that is so good. I haven't really tried any other straight razor makers, so I can't compare, but Max's work is so fantastic that I've seen no point in really experimenting outside of this. I probably will eventually, but for now, um,
yeah, I really, I don't really see a point in really getting anything else. Um, I do have some, two other razors coming in. Uh, I just got the shipping notification, so really excited for that. But, yeah, for the most part. That was an excellent shave. Toe shave on top of it. Definitely in that elite level. I'll show you. I thought I did. I'm like 99% sure. <laughs> the Osiris razors. I showed you that. But, okay. Oh, sorry, hold on. I'll show you the aftershave. I decided to go with, um, this is pretty much my go-to sandalwood, but uh, fine Santal Absolute. Whew, no weepers. Yeah, I, I pretty much treat the edge like a Chevette. Um, I use a light grip, very, very light pressure and it worked really well. Um, the razor is heavy on top of that, so I really don't need to be putting any pressure to begin with. You can pretty much let the razor do all the work, and man, even my chin completely BBS right under here. Yeah, basically just like, um, same results as this fresh, ed fresh edge, but, um, just so, so smooth. Um, the Suminagashi is definitely um, worth the kind of extra you do have to pay, but um, it's just, <laughs> it's so good. But uh, yeah, that's the shave. Um, just a quick recap. So my deranged donkey turned by Milton over at Turn and Shave with the B6. Uh, I think I'm gonna call this one the Nebula. I don't know if you guys can see it. It comes out a little bit. Let me get this light on right here. This overheats my phone, which is why I don't use it. But you can see those shimmers in there. I just kind of think it looks like those pictures of like the nebulas that you can see on Google. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna nickname this one the Nebula. Um, I'm gonna try and come up with nicknames for all my deranged pores. So I got the blue one, which is the Oceanic. That one's actually away right now, getting something pretty special. Um, so this is gonna be the Nebula. And then I got this one right here, which I still gotta come up with a name for, but those are the, that's the brush. Razor, Max Brecker, 88 Plus, uh, French Point, Mother Pearl Scales, Gold Lip Inlay, Suminagashi Steel, just fantastic, yeah. I mean, I think I've sung that thing's praises enough. Um, what I did not talk about enough of was soap, and that was Taube Eliyahi Ridge. Um, scent strength off the tub, I put that right about a, uh, right about a four maybe, five wind lathered. Um, I mean, Talbot, if you've heard things about Talbot, you know, um, this is their version two base. So it's uh, basically top shelf in everything you saw that leather nice dense um slickness outstanding post shave outstanding so really just a very just top tier soap it sells out in seconds for a reason um so if you can find your way to get a, to get your hands on it um you know bst something maybe not the scent per se but any of the other scents um even if you don't like the scent on it, hold your breath. Totally worth it. Uh, but yeah. And then aftershave, fine scent, all absolute. Probably my favorite channel word so far. So, thank you guys for watching. Excellent shave, and I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.